Hi, second grade. Today I'm going to go over your practice cold read, cold read with you. So if you can go ahead and get your pencil out, you can follow along with me. Uh, the first thing that we always do is number paragraphs. And if you check every time that it indents or the spacing goes in, there should be four paragraphs on the front side and three paragraphs on the back. Okay, when we do practice cold reads and cold read tests, we always read the title first. So it says dog sled racing. And we look at the picture to help make predictions. So if you look at this picture, you can see it looks like an animal. It's got four legs and a tail and it looks like a dog. So based on the title dog sled racing in the picture of this dog, what do you predict we may be reading about? I bet you have some good ideas. Do you predict this will be a fictional story or a nonfiction article? All right, let's see if you are correct. Paragraph one, dog sled racing is a popular sport, sport in the far north. Groups of dogs pull a sled over snow and ice. A person called the musher drives the sled and directs the dogs. It is a team effort. The sled dogs. Most sled dogs are Alaskan Huskies. Huskies are strong and have thick fur. Thick fur helps them stay warm in cold weather. Huskies also love to run. Sled dogs have, must have certain traits. They must get along with other dogs. They must be hard workers. They must be strong and fast and active. Finally, they must have great endurance. They need to run long distances without getting tired. The team. Dog sled teams have from eight to 16 dogs. The dogs are attached to the sled in pairs by a rope. The dogs are lined up in order according to their jobs. The two dogs at the front of the group are the lead dogs. Lead dogs are like the captains of the dog team. They have been trained to know their musher's commands. If you remember, we read a story called Sled Dogs Run in class a while ago and this all that also was a story about sled dogs point dogs are right behind the lead dogs they help the leads the dogs in the middle are team dogs they supply power the dogs closest to the sled are called wheel dogs they are large and strong they help keep the sled on the trail the musher stands on a light sled and gives directions to the dogs by calling out certain words. Now this is the table. This is a common feature in nonfiction texts. And if you haven't realized already, this is nonfiction. This is giving us real information about sled dogs. So they have here command. They list the command on the left and then they give us the meaning on the right. So if the sled dog, if the sled dog leader says hike, that's, a, that's meaning go, to, that's a signal that means go for the dogs. If the person driving the sled says gee, that means turn right, and the dogs learn those signals. Ha means turn left, and whoa means stop. The race is on. Dog sled races are usually 30 to 1,000 miles long. Mushers know their dogs well. If a dog gets overtired or hurt, the musher stops. The dog gets a ride on the sled to the next stopping point. There, vets take care of any animals that need help. In a long race, all the teams that finish can feel like winners. At the finish line, the dogs get hugs and treats. Then they go home to relax for a bit. After all, they must, they must rest up for the next race. All right, that story had some interesting information about sled dogs, which is kind of fun because we don't get that sort of sport very often since we live in the South where it's nice and warm. Number one, it says, now answer the questions number one through 10, base your answers on dog sled racing. Number one, what is the main idea of dog sled racing? So you can go back and you can read 
especially the first and last paragraph of a of a article or a story usually they state the main idea somewhere in there if they don't go ahead and just read a little farther so is this story mostly about a sled dogs have jobs b dog teams are attached to the sled c sled dogs and mushers work as a team or d all the teams that finish can feel like winners so even though there are multiple ones that are true, what do you think is the main idea? Number two, read this sentence from the article. They must be strong and fast and active. The word active has the root act, which means to do. What does the word active mean? So that's one of our strategies this week that I we we're going to introduce to you. It's we're talking about Greek and Latin roots. We've already talked about root word meaning the main part of the word that helps give you some meaning. Well, the the words that we're talking about today um, have. Let me start over again. Let me just read this to you. It says root, word roots can help you understand what a new or unfamiliar word means. Many word roots come from the Greek and Latin languages. So if we see the word here, divide, and you say, I'm not sure what that means, but I do know, which you might not know this, but if they tell you that the first part of the word div is a Latin root that means separate or separate, then divide must mean separate something. So you can use the root word to help figure out what the rest of the word means. So they're telling you what these roots are. They say the word active has the root act. Act means to do. So what do you think active means? Smart, hungry, not cold, or full of energy. Which one of those has something that means to do? Number three. Who drives the sled and directs the dogs? A, the musher. B, the point dogs. C, the wheel dogs. Or D, the Alaskan Huskies. Who drives the sled? Number four, read this sentence from the article. The dogs are lined up in order according to their jobs. The word order has the Latin root ordo, meaning row. What does order mean? Do you think if ordo means row, what do you think it means if they're lined up in order? Does that mean command? G, make a boat move? H, rules that are obeyed? Or I, the way things are placed? So if you're not, if you're still not sure, you could replace the word order with each of those to see which one makes the best sense in that sentence. Number five. After reading the article, what can you tell about sled dogs? A, sled dogs are fun. B, sled dogs like to ride on sleds. C, Sled dogs are strong, fast, and smart. Or D, sled dogs do not like the cold weather. Which one of those makes the best sense based on the article we just read? And remember, if you don't know and you can't remember, go back and find text evidence. Reread, look for keywords. You can prove your answers. Number six, read this sentence from the article. Lead dogs are like the captains of the dog team. The word captain has the Latin root cap, meaning head. What does captain mean? What does captain mean? Lead dogs are like the captains of the dog team. Do you think captain means the leader of the group? The last dog in line? The top of a body or the best dog? Number seven, which is true of both sled dogs and mushers? 
Remember, the sled dogs are pulling the sleigh and the musher is the person who's standing on that sled and directing the dogs. So what's true of both the dogs and the musher? A, they both are fast. B, they both love to run. C, they both work to help the team. Or D, they both work best by themselves. Number eight. Read the sentence from the article. Dog sled racing is a popular sport in the far north. The word popular has the Latin root populus, meaning people. What does popular mean? So if the root means people, what do you think popular means? Dog sled racing is a popular sport in the far north. Does it mean F, the number of people in a place? G, a sport people like to do, H, given by people, or I, liked by people. Number nine, read these sentences from the article. Finally, they must have a great, they must have great endurance. They need to run long distances without getting tired. What does the word endurance mean in the above sentence? Remember, this goes back to context clues. If you're not sure what endurance means, read the sentence or the words right around it to see if it gives you any clues. Finally, they must have great endurance. They need to run long distances without getting tired. So does endurance probably mean hearing, happy thoughts, very large pause or strength to keep going. Number 10, why must mushers know their dogs well? Why did the mushers need to know their dogs well? F, to give their dogs treats at the finish line. G, so they know the captain of the dog team. H, so they know to stop if a dog is overtired or hurt or I, so they can help the dogs keep the sled on the trail. Why do you think it is important for the mushers to know their dogs well? If you can't remember, go back in the story and see if you can hunt down some text evidence. All right, that is your cold read for today. I love, and Mrs. Bisping and Mrs. Dunn love too, that we are seeing you guys use strategies and, and uh, looking back for evidence. So keep up the great work. You guys are doing awesome.